Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you all how to do low poly terrain. It's pretty much built right into Unity now. As you can tell, you see these flat polygon surfaces. The only thing you have to do besides um, doing a shader like this, um, this is how you do a low poly in terms of just the shader part of it, right? So you just connect these nodes right here into the normal tangent, okay? But See, normally that wouldn't do the effect as glorious as this one, where it actually has, you know, the, the faceted faces, right? It would just give the, the illusion of it, right? But uh, Unity updated terrain, I'm not sure how long ago it was, but you can now change minimum detail and maximum com complexity limit. That's where the magic is actually at. So if you change these numbers, like for example, this max, you, just, you know, you could just you can start actually breaking it down to the more lower poly chunks, right? Which that's pretty much it. You pretty much got super low poly terrains now. The the shader, this part right here, essentially just you know makes it where the normals are all you know low poly. I guess you could say. I don't I don't know the science behind it. I'm sorry, y'all. But essentially, it makes it where there's no shading. On the services, right? So if you go and just do it like a normal terrain shader, let's, let's see if I can. I'll just make one real quick. Now we can see the difference. All right, so I come here, CRP, terrain lit, and then I'll just drag and drop this on here. As you can tell, I mean, you can tell it's low poly, but you know the blending is still pretty bad, right? So that other shader that I made just, you know, gets rid of the shading. So you get the, f you know, the flat surface looks. So yeah, now Unity pretty much has built in low poly terrain support as long as you create, you know, like I said, this part of the shader, which I found on the forms. Um, so you do position, DDY, DDX, cross product, transform, normalize, and put it into the normal transient space. And these right here are just um, for like the colors. Um, you're not going to be able to, well, I'm pretty sure someone can figure out how to do like vertex colors, but I just went the simplest route, just using the built-in ways, and um, I just imported, you know, a green, a stone texture, you know, all solid color, just, you know. Um, so, for example, if I click snow, right, I just click right there, and bam, you know. Obviously, it's not doing vertex blending, right? It's just painting over it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so now low poly terrain support is technically supported as long as you create that part of the shader. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this little short tutorial. And that's pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed. Bye-bye.